Hey guys, be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram for extra content you won't see here. Click the links in the description below. Hey, what's up guys? Eva94 back again with another action figure review. We're going to look at the Bandai Tamashii Nation's Avengers Infinity War. This is the SH Figure Arts Black Widow. So here we have the figure displayed on the front. The sides just show a picture of the figure along with Black Widow written on the side. And then the back, we get some more pictures there. So let's crack her open. Uh, to my knowledge, I believe this is the final non-exclusive figure to come out for the Avengers Infinity War SH line. Everything else to come after this will be a web exclusive unless they announce uh, any more new characters. But I believe we do still have Bucky. Uh, we still have the Hulkbuster and Falcon. Those are all going to be web exclusives. And I believe they're releasing a rocket as well. And that's all I can think of off the top of my head. So here we get a good look at the Scarlett Johansson. Infinity War version of Black Widow. So overall, it's a nice looking figure. One you're going to want to get if you are completing your Infinity War display. This is her outfit in the movie, which was just a vest over her traditional black outfit. Now this vest is not removable uh, like the Hasbro Marvel Legends one, which was. So there is that to note. So you can see the likeness is definitely there. They're doing a fantastic job with the face printing. It looks you know, 100% like Scarlett Johansson, that looks good. There's that hair painted gold. Don't approve of this. It looks like she's going Super Saiyan or something. You know, they got to kind of stop doing that. Uh, it's just too gold. The hair it was not gold in the movie. It was almost white. You know, it was so, so blonde to the point where it was almost white. So, I don't know what they're trying to do here, but they always, always do this. And then the rest of the figure looks great. I like the vest and the details there. All the, the paint details and the sculpt came out nice. And the rest of the suit also looks great. On the back, we get the little backpack type thing where you would peg in the uh, her little baton weapons that she used in the movie. And speaking of the baton weapons, here they are. It's just a black sculpted plastic. Nothing's really detailed or... Uh, well, it's detailed sculpt-wise, but it's not painted... Uh, so there's that and it does separate for you to uh, put her hand in there easier because we do have these little grooves all over so sliding it on would be difficult so they did think of that and they made you separate it so you can put the hand inside and this is the long version when she connects them together there's also a separated version of course when she used them on each hand right there so you can have the separated version and then if you want to holster the baton we do have just the handles and these are the ones that connect onto her little backpack right here. So that's how that looks right there. So that looks cool. I like that they uh, did include that feature. I don't think the Marvel Legends one did that. So Widow comes with this face package then. Then we will get this face which is much more serious looking here. You can see just the subtle facial expression change there makes it very different. So she is ready for battle on this one. And then lastly we get this face which is uh, another kind of normal face, not so angry or serious but she is looking to the side. She comes with two fists packaged in. Then we have the option to put on some open hands. And we also get these open hands with the fingers more closed together. So there's a difference there. And then lastly we get these uh, closed hands which have a little hole there so you can put the baton inside. These are the uh, accessory holding hands. Right, so let's take a look at the articulation of the figure. We have the head swiveling left and right as usual. We got a good movement up. So it's not too bad. And then down is not too bad either. She does have a little bit of a big collar there. But she can still move the head around. The neck does move around as well. The arms are going to go forward and back. They're going to go in and out. So there's a good range on there. There is no bicep swivel right here at the actual bicep. But behind the shoulder it does swivel. So if you want to count that, we still get a good swivel on the arm there. We do have a double jointed elbow, good enough for you to kind of reach back and grab the baton on her back, so that's nice. And then we have a swivel at the wrist with a bar jointed hinge. We have a swivel at the diaphragm, which is very hard to see, but there's a cut right here. This is actually a separate piece right here on the, on the uh, abdominal area. So you can swivel it up top and crunch it forward and back, back a long way so that's a good motion there there is a waist swivel too the legs are going to go forward and back they'll go in and out we have a thigh swivel we have a double jointed knee that bends very nicely we have an ankle that hinges forward and back we have a pivot a swivel and a toe hinge so there has been some time since we've gotten a black widow and the last time was the age of ultron version so this is from of course i'm referring to sh figure arts and 
where they are next to each other. Big difference in the hair, of course, it did change the hair in the movie. And she doesn't come with any guns. I don't, you know, honestly, they, she didn't even use any guns in the movie for Infinity War, so that's probably why she doesn't come with any. Uh, but there you go, the difference in the suits. She did change it quite drastically from that movie to, to this new one right here. And there she is next to the recently released Chris Evans, the bearded version, of course, from Infinity War. Right next to the SH Figuarts Thanos figure, just uh, towering over the new Black Widow here, as he should be, and that looks great. And there we have Doctor Strange next to her. And lastly, we'll get Iron Man there, so that's enough comparisons. You guys get the idea. That's how she looks next to uh, the other figures in this line. Alright guys, and there you have it. That concludes my review of the SH Figuarts Bandai Tomaji Nation's Infinity War Black Widow figure. In my honest opinion, I think this is a fantastic looking figure. I think they did a good job executing this look for the new Infinity War uh, Black Widow. And the likeness is there. The accessories are nice. And, the, you know, the overall figure is a solid uh, release. And it's not an exclusive. So I know the previous Black Widow was an exclusive. So if you guys didn't want to pay that much money for that Widow, then go ahead and grab this one. This one is far superior than the previous one. And it is a lot cheaper, too. So... With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Leave a like if you did. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you have not done so already, guys. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.